Inside federal court today, Rudy Giuliani's inside men in Ukraine, who had been helping him dig up dirt on Joe Biden there. Now, in a separate case, the pair is being charged with breaking campaign finance laws here by allegedly trying to funnel foreign money into elections to buy potential influence with the candidates, campaigns, and the candidates' governments. The two arrested at Dulles Airport after buying a one-way ticket out of the country, prosecutors say. This investigation is about corrupt behavior, deliberate law-breaking. In one example, Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman donated more than they were allowed to to now former Congressman Pete Sessions, according to the indictment, and asked for help getting rid of the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, Maria Yovanovitch. A letter obtained by NBC News shows Sessions, in 2018, asked the Secretary of State to consider terminating her ambassadorship, citing concrete evidence from two close companions that Ambassador Yovanovitch had spoken privately and repeatedly about her disdain for the current administration. Sessions, in a statement, says his motivation for that letter was that political appointees should not be disparaging the president, adding he will vigorously defend himself against any allegations of wrongdoing. The indictment reveals Parnas and Fruman also disguised the source of $325,000 in donations to a pro-Trump super PAC, which today says that money's in a segregated account while the legal battle unfolds. The pair's attorney is not commenting. The president today. What conversations have you had with Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman? I don't know those gentlemen. Now, it's possible I have a picture with them because I have a picture with everybody. I have a picture with everybody here. But... Uh, Somebody said there may be a picture or something where at a fundraiser or somewhere. Giuliani, the president's personal attorney, telling NBC News he can't comment yet, but told The New York Times last month, I referred the men to a campaign finance expert who pretty much resolved it. Tonight, House Democrats have subpoenaed Parnas and Fruman as part of their impeachment inquiry, with the president's former national security advisor making clear where he stands. Do you think it is appropriate for the president of the United States to solicit foreign interference in our political process. Thank yeah. you. Uh, of, of course, no. No, it's, it's absolutely not. Energy Secretary Rick Perry today was also subpoenaed by House Democrats looking for documents about his interactions with Ukraine. That brings the total to nine subpoenas against the Trump administration during this impeachment inquiry so far. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.